Hey friends, what is up? And welcome back to my channel. My glasses are very dirty. So, as you can tell from the title of the video, I'm doing something a little bit different today for multiple reasons. Today I wanted to sit down and film something completely unedited. And I was challenged by Rachel to do this. I will leave Rachel's channel down below. And I thought I would take it a step farther for two reasons. <laughs> One, I wanted to show you guys how much effort goes into videos, like this is probably going to be a video, the only cut that will be in this is my camera will probably run out of filming time so I'll have to reset it, but other than that I'm not going to edit this video um, because editing takes a long time. I'm talking like filming, editing, uploading, filling out the description bar or description box which I always film um, or always just copy and paste my description box unless I need to add something like I'll add Rachel's channel but everything else is pretty much the same but creating thumbnails, um, putting on makeup, getting ready and today as you can tell in all my breakout glory I'm not doing any of that shit. I wanted to sit down and just open this box that I got and not edit it and just talk to you guys and just hang out. So it's going to be choppy. It's going to be bad. Um, the other reason why I am doing this is a couple of days ago I hurt my back pretty bad. I was sitting in my chair stretching as I always do and completely fucked my back. So it's been hard. Like sleeping has been kind of hard. Just sitting has been kind of hard. Yes, I'm sitting on my floor right now. So we're trying to make it work. Um, but I don't want to take the time to like get ready and basically abuse my body further to bring you guys this like curated video. I just want to open my box and as you can tell it's going to be my, fa my fake crate box because I got it today. I stalked my fucking mailman. Um, I When I went to go pick this up, like I was checking my, because you can download, there's like a post office app, checking my app like, all right, is it delivered, is it delivered, is it delivered? He said it was delivered. I went to go pick it up and all of our packages were like on top of our mailbox. So I just like took my package, let him scan it, and then like immediately got into my car. I'm not even wearing a bra right now. I'm not even wearing underwear right now. Like I just got out of bed, threw a sweater on over my shirt, and that's what we're doing. So let me get something to open this box with because there's something in here. I literally got this box, brought it inside, sat down to film, and yeah, let's see. We're gonna use the screw because that's what I've got. I'm really excited because I've just been feeling like shit <laughs> and I just want to open something that's gonna make me happy. I don't know the theme of this box, I don't know what's in this box, I don't know anything about this box. Um, but as always, it comes packaged really pretty. Normally when I do unboxings, I do unbox them before I show you guys because one, I'm impatient, impatient, impatient as hell and I, want, I like want to know what's in it. And two, I want to be able to talk to you guys about it. So you're going to get a first reaction to all of this stuff. So let's see the theme. Oh, this is July's. Okay, cool. Yeah, there's a little bit of a delay and stuff, which I can understand. You guys have to realize there's only like five or six people that run you know, everything. Like, there's two main ladies who run it and then a little bit of help. And this is, like, their full-time job. And they're, they've been getting a lot of, like, slack for it recently. Flack? Flack? Been getting a lot of flack for it recently. But I know I could not do this. And yes, like, they signed up to do it, but a couple of delays here and there is really not that big of a deal. I'm a very patient person. The only time I've ever been upset with a company was when I signed up for that one Harry Potter box. I can't remember what, what it was. And I never got any of those boxes, so I just immediately got my money back. But it was, like, months and months later. No correspondence, no nothing. So I appreciate it. Um, let's see. So it is power up. Oh, this is the, oh yes. Okay. So this one, they asked me if I wanted to unbox it because I love the theme of it. Yes. Okay, cool. So it is power up July, 2019. The book that we get for free is collateral damage by Taylor Simmons. I'm going to do a close up because I'm not going to be editing anything into this, but that is what the book looks like. It's that little red box right there. And then obviously the rest of the spoiler stuff is on the other side, so don't look at that. Um, so the first thing we have is the t-shirt. Because they did want to send me this, they did send me the t-shirt, which makes me real, real happy. We're going to see if I'm able to guess what it is. So it says, Lackland University Extraordinary. This is so soft. This is so fucking soft. I am excited. I love soft shirts. I love sleeping in big ass t-shirts to go to bed with, which is currently what I'm wearing underneath my shirt. This is a size medium. I would say the sizes run a little bit big, like 
I'm a chesty bitch, like I've got a chest, um, and these still fit me really well, um, although they are just a tiny bit too big, which is fine because I like wearing these to bed, so it works really well for me. I love the colors, blue and gold are like my two favorite colors, especially together. Even though I am a Buckeye, I do like Michigan State's, uh, or Michigan University's color scheme, so I do really like this. I think that's cool. Oh, it's soft. I should put it on over my shirt. So that is from, let us see, because you know, I don't know. Oh, it's from Vicious. When talking about heroes and villains, of course we've included Vicious. Now you can be extraordinary while showing off school pride for Lachlan. So those come with, I think you can get just the t-shirt or you can get like the whole box, so that's really cool. Um, the next thing I see here is Bold and Ruthless, color changing candle, red for anarchist, blue for renegade. Ooh, it's by Spite. Ooh, oh my god. Oh, I want dessert for breakfast now. So I'm assuming this is from Renegades. I'll show you guys a close-up here in a second. It's by Spidey Sense. This is, are you team Renegade or team Anarchist? Blue for Renegades, red for Anarchists. Find out with this sorting candle. Try to fuck it. zoom in. Normally I'd do some like cool little added in clips of all this, but now you guys just get to watch the whole process. I don't know, these videos are kind of fun because you can't like censor yourself either. Um, it looks like Yes, we got a pop socket. I'm assuming this is a pop socket. Let me see. So it says, hero pop socket. You're the hero of your story. Now everyone can know with this perfect accessory for your phone. I love pop sockets. I have no idea where my phone is, um, but I love pop sockets. And this one, this is what they look like. And they just stick on the back of your phone. Um, I got some big ass hands, but I also have a giant phone, so it doesn't really work. It says, I'm the hero of this story. Let's see if I can do a close up of this. There you go. So that is what it looks like. I love the colors. And my pop sock is on its way out, so that works for me. Um, next we have the coin, I'm assuming is what's in here. Am I in focus? I'm in focus. Um, I'm really excited about this coin though, because it's gonna be from a theme that I really, really like. I pledge myself to the Rose Society. I don't know what the Rose Society is. Let's see. So it says, oh, Young Elites. Okay, Young Elites. The third in our exclusive collector coin series takes the, take this coin as proof of your induction into Adelina's Rose Society. So this is what the front of it looks like. My camera's just jumping all over the place. Focus. I did not pay a bunch of money. Okay. <laughs> so I did not pay a bunch of money for this lens for it not to work. So the front looks like. They all look the same on the front. And this is what the back of it looks like. That is so fucking pretty. And I will say that these coins are pretty hefty. I don't know if you can tell, but it's quite large. I do have a few of them on my shelves. I have never read this series, but that's okay. I'm still excited. Got our book plate, I'm gonna hide that. I have no idea what this is. The hell is this? Um, mm, mm. <clears throat> oh, hero. I'm assuming this is what it is. Mystery Hero Cord Protector. You've been chosen by your own personal hero or villain. They've come to protect your precious cord. Stick it on your charger or earbuds for maximum effect. Oh! Oh! That's actually cool! Okay, so you're supposed to... Yeah, so wear your cord... Let me just... Hold on. Oh, God. So, wear your cord <laughs> connects. So, like, right here. I don't know if you guys are as much of a heathen as I am, but I will literally bend this, I will wrap it around things, I bring it to work with me, I don't know why, because this cord's literally 10 feet long, um, but this part right here in a lot of cords or like your headphones, when you wrap it or move it a lot, can start to get frayed. So what this is supposed to be is a protector for that, and I think I got a Ninja Turtle. I don't know, it kind of looks like Raph, but I don't think it's Raph. Oh. I don't remember which turtle this is. I love the Ninja Okay, okay. The Ninja Turtle movies, like the live action ones where they like go back to like China and stuff, I can quote, I can quote that entire movie, all of them, like every movie they've done like that, by heart. Like you start that movie and I'm like, yes, every single word. I loved those movies growing up. And I got me a Ninja Turtle. I'm gonna try to zoom in on this, see if it works. Yes. Is this Donatello? Am I a horrible fan? Look, here's the thing. I'm a super big geek. Can you focus? Find me. Find me. 
Find me, find me, there we go. I'm a super big geek for a lot of things, but I'm really bad at names. Like, even books that I absolutely love or like shows that I absolutely love, like whatever. If I don't watch them every single day, I will forget character names. I will forget band member names. I will forget the names of people in books, in movies, in everything. Um, the next thing we have here is a lanyard, which is real nice because I need one for my keys because I keep losing my fucking keys. And it says, where there are villains, there will be heroes. And this is what it looks like. It is gray and white and orange. Whoop, whoop. And where you can see the orange is where, I'm, I, I'm not gonna be able to zoom in on this, I'm real sorry. Um, but this is where it says, where there are villains, there will be heroes. And I don't know what this is from. Um, let's see, show me. Uh, um, um, Steelheart. Whether you're a hero or villain, the Steelheart lanyard is an incredible fit for your everyday needs. Yes, it is. I'm going to find my keys and put that on there. The next thing we have is the Polaroid, and this one's Polaroid is Carry On. How ad adorable are Simon and Baz? Twink did an amazing job capturing one of her favorite extraordinary couples. And this is what the boys look like. I know people love this. I am not a fan of Rainbow Rowell, but this art is too beautiful not to keep. Also, it's male male romance, and I'm all about that shit. That is pretty. Focus on my face. Okay, cool. So that's gotta go up there. Um, this is... Oh! Okay, so that's for the book. I'm gonna hold that. Well, not for the book. This is for the book that we got this month, I think? No. Oh, no! This is a free ebook download for Deviation by Christina, by, sorry, Christine Manzari. Um, this looks like, I'm gonna list the book down below, but it looks, this is fucking cool. Look at that artwork. Wow, she's pretty. She's very pretty. Okay. I'm gonna download this. Sorry, I'm getting off track here. I'm gonna download that book. Second and last thing we got before the book, I'm gonna put that back in there. I did get a sneaky peek of the book. This is from... Let's just get this out real quick. Um, Extra Large Lunar Chronicles Pouch by Katarina Book Designs. Save the world and we don't have anywhere to keep the reward money? Have no fear. Thorns got you covered. This is pretty. So it says still holding out for that reward money. And this is massive. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. This is my face. This is the pouch. This is huge. What the hell would you put in here? A body? Screw reward money. Oh my gosh. This is gigantic and it has like a really nice um I don't know if you can hear it ASMR with you can hear the crinkly part of it it's like a plasticky kind of insert so you can put stuff in here that like might spill I would probably use this if I had a life as a makeup travel bag but your girl doesn't travel longer than like 20 minutes in any given direction I am however going to Florida um, and I might bring this to put my makeup in, but here's the real tea. Am I gonna wear makeup in Florida? Who fucking knows? Because it's probably just gonna melt off my face anyway. Alright, now, we got a debut release from an author. Oh. My. God, this book is fucking pretty. Let me unwrap it real quick, because it's covered in- oh my god. I am so excited for this. Oh shit. This is so- Pretty. Okay, so this is Collateral Damage by Taylor Simons. It says a novel, but it looks like a comic book. Also, Black Edges. Oh my god. This is so pretty. So it says, at last, the greatly anticipated debut release. A spunky and jubilant love letter to superhero fans. Oh my god. Look at that. Wait, was this from the... No, that's something else. Okay, I was, I was trying to see if she was in this, but she's not. It's just like superhero theme kind of threw me off. So it says, I would accuse the Lunar City Police Department of misinformation East 7th, right? Did the scanner not just say he was on East 7th? But I'm not really supposed to have a scanner, so there's no one to complain to. My tires screech as I hit the brakes, just feet away from the standstill traffic blocking the road. The owners having abandoned their cars in favor of running, and there, about six cars ahead of me, boots firmly planted on the hood like it's some kind of pedestal, is Super Variant 3. The morning sun glistens off the gray leather super suit he's wearing like it's a second skin. His famously perfect blue-black hair positioned in its trademark coil over his forehead. Everybody out of the streets, he's ordering a glove handcuffed around his chisel jaw. Get to some place safe, you need to... 
A piercing scream grabs both of our attention. It's impossible to tell who it came from, but it's clearly someone out of the cluster on the sidewalk. One of the dozens or so heads gaping upward in terror and a massive billboard groaning on its hinges. A light breeze away from crashing down to the three, three street below. Oh no, I whisper, and then three and I both move at the same time. This sounds awesome. Let's see what she looks like naked. Let's see what the author looks like. Oh, it's a girl! Yeah, I'm okay with that. She enjoys cosplaying, watching anime, buying fan art, fan art she'll forget to hang up, and camping out for the next Marvel movie. Oh my god. Aw. Taylor does not have any kids or pets to mention, but she does have some pretty great friends whose houses she likes to burst into unannounced. Sounds like me. Okay. This is beautiful. Let's see. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! And it flips! Okay, so this is what the book looks like? Uh, hello! This is gorgeous! Holy god! When they... Okay, so when Megan actually emailed me or messaged me on uh, Instagram and was like, do you want to open this? It's super beautiful. And I was like, yeah, I open one every month. Like, whatever. Just, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do it anyway. Holy God, she was not joking around. This is fucking gorgeous. It has art on the inside. You can't see that. It has art on the inside, but wait, there's more. The cover flips. So there's art on the inside of the book as well. This is hands down the most beautiful book I own. Also, if you didn't know, <laughs> oh my God, I love superhero movies, but not like, like normal superhero movies, like Big Hero 6, Big Hero 8, I think it's Big Hero 6. I saw it in theaters and loved it so much and then just ended up watching it again on Stars because I have the Stars app recently and I just forget how much I love superhero stuff and like found friend superhero stuff and I think that's what this is gonna be and oh my god, this is, this is the type of book that makes me want to not keep the cover on it just so I can have like the really pretty design but this is fucking gorgeous. No matter what way you put this book on your shelf, backwards if you're one of those psychopaths. You could put it with, you know, just the cover. You could take the cover off and it's super gorgeous. You can flip the cover around. Oh my god, I am dying. This is stunning. I can always take photos of this. But I think that's everything. That is everything we got in our box. This is a theme that I absolutely love. I bought the Shelf Love Crate version of their, like, um, like, uh, superhero video game kind of thing as well so I'm really excited to get that oh and we got a signed book plate I'm obsessed with this but that is everything that is what I got in my fake rate I this literally made my day about a thousand times better so I hope you guys like this unedited version of a video from me uh unedited like I I look I'm not gonna lie, I don't, I don't look that bad, but I feel like I look that bad. I feel like people who are used to seeing me like dolled up are gonna be like, oh my god, what the fuck? Um, <clears throat> but that's it. That's everything. I love you guys a lot. Uh, like if you like it. I'm gonna be one of those YouTubers now. Like this video. Wait, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe. Ring the notification bell so you don't forget all of my videos are uploaded even though YouTube's a piece of crap and you can't see it anyway. Um, but that's it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>